Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and the Lumia Icon slash 930 for the rest of the world has proven to be one of my favorite phones of the year. The 930 is perfectly well built for day-to-day -day activities, but what happens when you want to do something a bit more extreme? And the folks at Otterbox have a solution for you. Yes, this is their Defender series case for the Lumia Icon, which should also work with the Lumia 930. I think the dimensions are going to be similar enough that we shouldn't have to worry about too many compatibility issues. And it is the same three-piece casing affair that we've seen from Defender cases in the past. There are two hard plastic pieces, a front cover with a screen guard built in place, and a rear plate with a nice squishy little foam insert on the back to kind of help absorb shock and impact. And these snap together with a series of clips running around the sides of the case to lock this piece in place. And then a silicone rubbery plasticky shell wraps around the outside again for more impact and shock protection. And a hallmark of all Defender cases is of course the really rugged and well built belt clip. Make sure you lock that puppy in place, especially as the case is gonna add just enough bulk that it might not be a good fit for most pockets. Getting a phone into a Defender case is easy enough, but you do wanna pay attention to where the camera port is, as that was my big clue as to how the case lines up. This Lumia is so rectangular that when I first threw it in the case, it did fit upside down. It was only when I realized that the buttons didn't line up that I had the case oriented in the wrong position. So the camera is really where you wanna look. Make sure that slots in on the back. Then you're gonna throw this top piece on here and just walk around the case snapping all these little pieces together. Nice clicky action there. Then we take our silicone outer cover and just kind of pop the phone in here. And again, just walk all the way around the case making sure that that seam is tucked in. And now we have an armor-clad Lumia Icon. Yep, this thing feels super tough and it is gonna add some bulk there. But you'll walk away with a much better protected phone. Walking around the case, we've got a nice deep cutout for the camera sensor right there. And it flares out not quite as much as the flare on the iPhone Defender case, but it's still angled enough though that I don't think it'll interfere overly with the camera flash. We do have cutouts specifically designed for the microphones and for the speaker venting out the back of the phone. And we have nice rubbery expansions for the volume rocker, the power switch, and the camera button. On the front face, there is another nice little cutout for the phone call microphone right there. And then there is a full scoop right here for the earpiece and the front facing camera. Now the port covers for this thing are really intense. You really got to wedge a nail in there to get this thing popped open. But we've got a nice deep cutout here for the micro USB port and almost exactly exactly the same style of cover for the top on the headphone jack. Now, like all Defender cases, this is a nice solution for a little extra splash resistance, you know, the screen protector and then all of this rubber cladding and these nice, really tight port covers. But as you can see from all the cutouts for the camera and the speaker and the microphones, this is not going to be a water submergible case. In fact, submerging this case might be a really bad idea as if water gets under the screen protector or into this back plastic plate, it's gonna be really hard to drain this case back out. And we've got this handy bell clip. There's a nice little edge right here you slot the phone into it pops into place and it's really secure this thing's not going anywhere especially if you're running around with this thing on a bag on a purse or on your actual belt though I really don't like the fashion statement that makes you can at least be reasonably sure that this phone isn't going to just pop out of the belt clip now I do wish there were some kind of way to prop the phone up or some kind of kickstand on this uh, when you use a defender tablet case the screen guards can become tablet stands the closest I've been able to find on a phone is if you put the phone on on top of these brackets here, it kinda angles it for you, but that's a very shallow angle, so it doesn't really work very well as any kind of smartphone stand solution. It would be nice if this clip could lock outwards maybe, so that you could prop it up and use it as some kind of stand. If I don't move the table at all, it's totally fine, but then the second it rocks, it's gonna fall over. Even with all of this extra padding and armor, thankfully features like wireless charging will still work through the case. Boink. And speaking of removing a Defender case, no review would be complete without me prying one off. Now, Defender cases are notorious for locking the phone in so well that they can be really tricky to remove. Now, this is actually an excellent benefit as if you're out there doing really rugged, active, outdoorsy things, you don't want your case to fly to pieces if your phone takes a tumble. But of course, uh, if you want to quickly remove the case for maybe you're having a nice evening out and you don't want something this bulky wrapped around your phone, uh, the Defender case might throw a wrench in those plans. So removing the Defender 
case, getting the silicone outer covering off of the phone is usually pretty easy. On the Defender, I find if you just rub your phone over this top edge, you can pull that piece off right there. And it's flexible enough that pulling from here, you should get enough leverage just to peel the rest of the silicone outer covering off like so. Now that tricky part is getting the plastic armor off. On previous Defender cases, we only had to contend with these hard points on the corners. But newer Defender cases have these extra locking clips which run around all of the sides of the phone. On the Lumia Defender, I find prying a thumb on the right side of the screen We'll pop this one open first, and then you can walk around these other side clips to pry the rest of the case off. And once you crack both of the clips on the top of the phone, the case just pops right open. But you do need to be careful on the bottom of the phone because that's where I took a little nick out of my thumb. And that really might seem like a pain, but I am actually happy to see improvements to the Windows Phone Defender cases. On the last Defender case that I had for a Lumia was for this Lumia 920, and all they used were these corner lock points which popped open in a really kind of flimsy way. This case always felt a little floppier than some of the iPhone Defender cases that I had had the opportunity to play with. I really want to throw OtterBox a thumbs up here because the Defender case for the Icon feels much more substantial. And best of all, you can score this super rugged case for just under $40. Street price on Amazon at the time I shot this video was around $38, $39, $39 which is not a lot of cash to much better protect your phone if you want to take it out into the field. As always, folks, I'll drop some links down below this video if you want more information on OtterBox products and where you can shop the Defender case for the Lumia Icon slash 930. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, subscribing to this channel, uh, dropping me all of those amazing comments down below my videos. I love the conversations we get into. And I would not be able to continue producing videos like this if you all weren't out there sharing my videos with family, friends, and on social media. So I cannot thank you enough for bringing all of these cool people to the party, hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.